In this video, we are going to learn about the stem modification. Rhizome Rhizome is an underground stem which grows horizontally from right to left or left to right. It is dorsiventral. Uh, dorsally and ventrally, it is differentiated. It bears adventitious roots on the ventral side. And the apical bud is literally small. It does not bear any contractile roots. Food is stored in the underground stem and the terminal bud develops into an aerial shoot. Simply above the soil the terminal bud grows. Example for the rhizome is ginger and turmeric. On the screen you can see the image of ginger. Zingiber. On the screen you can see the image of ginger. The underground stem bears the node internodes, scale, leaf, bird, adventitious roots. Comb. It is an underground stem which grows vertically or you can say longitudinally. It is not dorsiventral. Adventitious root normally develop from the base but sometimes also from the sides of the comb. Foot is stored in the stem and the apical bird is large. Contractile roots are present. Example Amorphophallus. On the screen, you can see the image of the Amorphophallus. It has nodes, internodes, scale leaf, comb, daughter comb, and the adventitious roots on the base. Stem tuber. It is a swollen tip of an underground branch. It occurs beneath the soil at any depth and it is brown in color. It is not differentiated into dorsal and ventral surface. Axillary birds are present in the eyes on the surface of the tuber and it does not bear any kind of roots. Here example is the potato. Bell. It is small reduced underground stem. Foot is stored in the leaf bases. It is dorsiventrally differentiated. Terminal bud develops into an aerial inflorescence and the adventurous roots develop from the ventral side of the stem and the contractile roots are absent. Example is Alium sepa. On the screen you can see the image of the Alium sepa onion. It bears the fibrous root or the adventurous root on the ventral side and the basal plate is present. It also possesses the fleshy scale leaves and the new shoot and flower and leaves develops. Bulb does not store any food material. The food is stored in the leaf bases or the scale leaves. And the daughter bulbs develop from the axillary birds and grow into the new plants. Offset Offset is an axillary branch having usually one internode. Adventitious or fibrous roots are produced at the apex of the offset. The leaves of the offset is arranged as rosettes due to the poor apical growth. Pistia and the Econia are the examples for the offset. In image you can see the beautiful Pistia. It's looking pretty awesome there, right? Stolen. It is a thin lateral branch with many nodes and internodes. Solon produces adventitious roots at the point of contact with soil. For example, if you cut the branch of the rose flower plant and when you plant the cut off branch, after few days it grows the adventitious root and the new growth starts. Leaves are distributed all over the stolon due to normal apical growth and the entire stolon with adventitious roots when detached from parent plant act as separate individual. Example Rose Sucker It is a lateral branch which develops from the axillary bud of an underground part of the stem. It produces roots from its underground part of the stem. Here we can take the example of the chrysanthemum and the mint plant. If you plant a single stem of the mint or mentha, 
it grows into the many new individual plants. Runner Runner is a slender, nothing but thin, prostate branch with long internodes. It lies stretched on the ground. Adventures or fibrous roots are produced at each node of the runner. And each node with adventitious roots and the axillary bud when detached from a runner acts as separate individual. Here we can take the example of hydroctyle. Hope you found this video helpful. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section which kind of the lectures you want to hear from me.